God, good to be here this morning. I feel like the Amen. God's here this morning. I feel His Spirit here this morning. And I want you, if you would, turn to Luke chapter 19, starting at verse 2. Pray for my throat is hoarse this morning, but I'm not going to get to death. Pray for nothing. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 19, verse 2. Let's start here. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your love, your mercy, and your goodness, God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the midst of the churches. Lord, we pray, God, that you just open up the minds and the hearts of everyone, Lord. God, that they'll be able to receive, God, your precious word, Lord. Let that seed play, be planted, God, and bring forth fruit, Father. God, we pray right now, Lord, to just anoint, Lord, the service, Lord, be fathers, as I try to preach, God. As I give it to the Holy Spirit this morning, Lord, to do the work, Lord, he wants to do in our lives in the church, Father. And God, we'll give you the praise of the Lord and the honor. Everybody says, Amen. Amen. Luke, St. Luke chapter uh, 19, verse 2. Uh, God goes out of his way. Amen. I said, God goes out of his way. Like the Sunday school lesson said this morning, for one person. But sometimes, church, I, I like this story here about uh, what about uh, Zacchaeus. Now, how many know if you want to get, if you want to see Jesus, you can see Jesus. Amen. 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 And the Bible says that behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was a chief among the publicans. Now he was he was a high-ranking person. Everybody, everybody didn't love him, but most of them hated him because who he was. He was a tax collector. And it says that he sought to see Jesus. That word just hangs on to my, to my spirit. I studied last night. I said, Lord, I need, I've got the message. It's, it's don't seem the right message for some reason. But then he began to deal with me. Amen. This man sought Jesus. We have to learn, church, that Jesus is there for us. He come to seek and to save those which were lost. I believe that. He saved me. I was lost. He saved you. He was lost. But church, sometimes... Amen. You got to be like Zacchaeus. Now Zacchaeus was small in statue. He was rich. Amen. But you know what? He was something missing in his life. And somewhere, or somehow, praise God, somebody had to tell him about Jesus that he was on his way. And the Bible says because he was small in statue that he couldn't see Jesus because of the crowd. But he said, I know what I'll do. I'll climb up a tree. Amen. Amen. So this is what it says here. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was a little of statue, and he ran before and climbed into the, a sycamore tree to see him. And he, and he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, now, Jesus probably had never seen this man. Amen. I said, Jesus had never seen this man. But you know what, church? His, the Holy Spirit led him to go that direction. And the Bible says that when Jesus comes to where he was at. See, Jesus comes where we're at. Amen. And thank God, I saw him they say that he knows my name. Yes. He knows your name. I said, he knows your name. Can I hear an amen? amen. Yes. He knew my name. Amen. One day he called out to me, just like he called out to Sackis. and said, Sackis, come on down. I'm going to go home with you. Could you imagine the joy and everything the Bible explains there? But you know what, church? I thank God Jesus does come home with us. We will receive him. Praise God. I want to preach just a little bit this morning. Amen. you got to make up your mind. I said, you got to make up your mind. Now, Zach has made up his mind. He was going to see Jesus. So you know what he did? He went out of his way to climb up a tree. He, he knew that Jesus was going to come this morning. See, Jesus is here this morning. We know that Jesus is here. And I thank God, church, he knew that Jesus was coming going to come that way. He climbed up that tree. And thank God, Jesus stopped right where he's at. Jesus will stop right where you're at. Amen. To let you know, praise God, that he knows you. He knows your condition. He knows what, what's in your heart. And said, Zach, just calm down. Praise God. So sometimes you have you got to make up your mind, amen, if you want Jesus. Or you want to be touched by Jesus. 
Amen. And the Bible tells us. Now, the Bible doesn't say if, if uh, uh, Joshua had a family or he said, he said his household. He doesn't say nothing about his wife or nothing about his children. So we don't know uh, really if he was married or what. But he said his household. But what I'm trying to say this morning, church, we got to make up our mind. Amen. That for me and my house, amen, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. If we ever had to, we had got to be determined. We got to have our mind made up. Amen. This house, amen, represents Jesus. And church, this is why the nations are in such a bad trouble right now. It's because the fathers are not stepping up and doing their job. Amen. Amen. The Bible teaches us that the man was the priest of the house. He was the leader. He was one that was responsible for, amen, for the, for the salvation of the families. But we see that we live in a nation now, amen, that the fathers are willing to stand up by Joshua. I thank God this morning. I, and sometimes it's not easy. I said sometimes it's not easy. Right. But you've got to make up your mind. I, and I, God, I, I, I made my mind up, amen. I, if I can't save my children, Amen. If I save the whole world and then my children lost to go to devil's hell, I haven't done my job. Right. Amen. Wouldn't it be awful? Amen. To stand before God and say, what are my children standing before God? And say, why didn't you teach me? Why didn't you show me? Why didn't you be responsible Amen. for my salvation? I thank God this for church. We've got to make we got to make up our mind, just like just for me in my house. Amen. We're going to serve the Lord. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, And if it seemed evil unto, unto you to serve the Lord, amen, choose that you this day whom you will serve. See, we've got to make up our mind who we're going to serve. Now, church, we, we serve two lords. I said we serve two lords. One is the devil and one is Christ. Amen. They're either Lord of your life or they're not Lord of your life. And I tell you, I thank God, church, we can have responsibility. I know who I am going to serve. Amen. And that is Jesus. I've got my mind made up and my foot on the rock. Glory to God. And I'm on my way to heaven. And I want to take my family with me. Amen. 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 That's what it says there. This day, whom you will serve, one of the gods which your father served, that were, were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord and serve other gods. Because they recognized, Brother James, that they had a responsibility for their household. Amen. And church, we got to make up our mind. We're going to serve the Lord. And for our house, we're going to bring the Lord in. Church, we got to bring Lord God into our home if we want to see our family saved. Amen. Amen. I said we got to put God in our house. Amen. To see our family say, and I thank God this morning, church, that we we now have, have a time to do that. And I know, church, I thank God that once we got to make up our mind, once we got to find men, we're determined to go to heaven and determined to make our family go heaven. You're gonna pay a price. You're gonna have to seek God and pray to God and ask God to save my family. Let me show me the hell I can direct them and everything. And I believe Joshua did that. Amen. Fathers, we are responsible. I thank God for this is the day we can celebrate the Father. But church, we got to learn that God gave us a responsibility. And church, we need to carry that responsibility Amen. out. And yes. that serve the Lord in front of them. Teach them and show them and guide them what, what Joshua did. Praise God. I thank God he had his mind made up. I got my mind made up. How about you? Yes. I said, I got my mind up. How about you? Yes. Church, I'm determined to go to heaven. But I'm determined to take my family with me. And that means I'm going to walk like Jesus, talk yeah. like Jesus, be like Jesus, and show that the, the, the kids, amen, how much you love God, how much you trust God. Amen. My kids knew. Amen. I'm not bragging on me. I'm just saying as a father, they knew I loved Jesus. Right. And they knew I was not going to go out of the way, amen, to, to serve the devil or whatever. But I was going to be true to, to God and show them how much I love God and show them how much I fear God. Amen. That we could praise God, lead our children. And church, we take some, you can tell. Because when, when our kids get in trouble, guess what they do? Most of the time they come to the Father, amen, and ask for some, some kind of a, a help or whatever, church. And that lets us know that you know what? they see something in us. Amen. I said they see something. They see God in us. And that, we, that we are the leaders of the, of the family. And church, we have the responsibility and the love, amen, for they're, they're, they're growing up. Praise God. 
I thank God, church, for the for the fathers that love God. Amen. Amen. But you gotta have your mind made up. I said Zacchaeus had his mind made up. Joshua had his mind made up. Have you got your mind made up? That you're gonna serve the Lord, you and your house are gonna serve the Lord. That means, church, if you can't make your family get saved. I said, if you can't make your family get saved. But church, you can show them even how to get saved, how to be saved, and how to be saved. Amen. Because your walk and your talk with Jesus tells them everything. Amen. Your faith shows them everything. And I thank God for that. What are you trying to say, Brother Mayor? I'm trying to say this. The Bible tells us in the book of Daniel. Now, Daniel was taken and taken as a, as a young man into Babylon captivity. And the Bible says that he was taught with by his family about the traditions, the custom, how that they were, amen, live from, for God, how they have to abstain themselves from things that they didn't, didn't, uh, really didn't uh, partake, partake of, amen. So the Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Now, church, listen to what I'm saying. We have responsibility for our children and for our family. But you know what, church? Don't, don't think that you're not doing the right thing. Don't think that you're, that you're not reaching your children and everything. The Bible said that Daniel, I mean, he knew the custom and traditions of, the traditions of God. And the Bible says in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself, amen, with the king's meat, in other words. He was not going to take a, the portion of the king. They were, they were, these king was worshiping idols and everything and taking their food and stripping it out to the other people. But he knew that this was wrong. Church, I believe if we take our children and grow up, amen, in the way of the Lord, I believe something happens and something happened to Daniel with all the three Hebrew boys and everything. And they was taken into captivity. But in church, you could take God with you and you could take God, God's word with you. And church, I'm telling you something, I believe that it worked for Daniel and I believe it will work for us. Amen. Thank God, church. We still got daddies that love the Lord and not willing to, amen, to, to throw their life away in their family. Amen. Brother, he says, or he says, the portion be, nor with the wine with which he drank, therefore he, he was requested the priest of the Enoch that he might not defile himself. But, but uh, Daniel had his mind made up. You got to make your mind up. I, I like that. Not so you got to make up your mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. And so sometimes the whole world's out there. We don't we don't have mentors like we used to have. They don't really serve the Lord and, and want to serve the Lord and be dedicated and be faithful to the Lord. But church, thank God we still have a few daddies and fathers, praise God, that was willing to dedicate their life to God and dedicate their children to God and be an example. Because church, one day, the daddy and mommy may not be around. Amen. I said, one day, Daddy may not be around, so we got to teach them what we can and show them what we can. Praise God. Amen. That when they stand for God, God will stand for them. Can I say that again? If you stand for God, God will stand for you. Praise God. For me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And Daniel said that he was not going to defile himself because he was taught better. Church, we need to teach, teach about Jesus. I want you to imagine something this morning, Father's. I know this is Father's Day. If you want us, I want you to picture something. It, what, what, would, what would you accomplish? Like I said, if you save the whole world and, and, and lose your family. Amen. What would you accomplish? One day if you stand before God and your children stand before God and, they, they, and they're crying, why didn't you tell me about Jesus? Why didn't you show me about Jesus? Why didn't you tell me about this awful place? And church, it's too late then. Amen. Like the man, like the rich man in hell, he said, he prays that, Lord said somebody to tell my brothers, my brothers, amen, not to come to this awful place. Church is too late if we don't teach them now. And church, the fathers are failing to teach them. If you got, I tell you, fathers, if you got children and they're not saved, you get in church and you start serving God and you start telling them about Jesus and you will win your children back to God or to God one amen. or the other. Amen. Daniel purpose in the heart. I will not defile myself with the things of the world, in other words. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, yeah. church. All right. Some reason y'all want me to preach that. I stayed for almost double o'clock last night. Think about this. I got to make up my mind. You got to make up your mind that you're going to serve God. And it's not going to be easy because the world's enticing out there. But do you love the world more than you love God? Do you love things of the world more than you love God? Thank God, church, we can show our children and our families and our loved ones that God's <coughs> the most important thing in your life. 
And church, if you go with God, God will go with you. And he'll bless you coming and bless you going. Praise God. Sometimes it's not easy to make up your mind. You can't get saved as you, got it, as you make up your mind. You can't come to the altar one time and say, I've got it all. No, you got to keep coming back to God. Amen. Every time. We call church, we're, we're just children of God. We're, 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 child. we're just like a newborn. We've got to keep Amen. coming. Let God feed us and let God touch us and have a relationship with God that we can continue to go on church because it gives you a made up mind. The Bible teaches us that some reason why some people are not healed because they haven't got the mind made up. Right. Amen. The Bible teaches us that the woman that had the issue of blood. Now would you imagine this? She was she was sick for 18 years. She suffered. She I mean she uh, gave everything that she had to get well. Amen. But thank God somebody told her about Jesus. I'll tell you about Jesus in a He's your savior this morning. He's your healer this morning. And we need to teach our children who God really is. He's our savior. He's our healer. He's our deliverer this morning. Praise God. Amen. And you don't have to, if you tried everything else, just try Jesus. Amen. Jesus will never let you down. And the Bible tells us in, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 20, this is what it says then. See, this woman had a made up mind. You got to make up your mind. She said, I'm going to get healed. I've heard about Jesus. Thank God. Somebody, they may be, like, like this morning when in Sunday school, this woman, all she had did was go back to, to, to the, her, the family and her surroundings and her friends and just told them about, about what Jesus said unto her. All we got to do, church, is let people know what Jesus has done for you. If he, he'll heal you, he'll deliver you. Thank God, church, he's, he's caused alcohol to come back alive. And, and in other words, the, the to realize that Jesus is all they need, praise God, and they see that you're alive and you've been delivered, you've been healed, praise God. Now you're walking and talking with Jesus. It means everything, church. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years, I thought it was 16 or 12, they came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Well, she said within herself, now she had this in her mind all the time I got to get to Jesus. I gotta get to Jesus. You gotta get to Jesus. Zechariah said, I gotta see Jesus. I gotta get to Jesus. Church, you gotta get to Jesus to see salvation. You gotta get to Jesus, amen, to get your healing. You gotta get to Jesus, amen, to get your way to heaven, praise him. You gotta get to Jesus. That's all we need to do, church. Let's get with Jesus, walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus, and thank God, church, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. I thank God for that this morning. But she was determined, and other scriptures tells us that she, that she, that she, that she that such a big crowd around Jesus. There was a crowd around Zacchaeus. He said, I don't know how I'm going to get to Jesus because of, of the crowd of little statue. But church, he made up his mind, i got to see Jesus. And church, let me tell you something, Jesus will come home with you if you just try to do your best to get to Jesus. Amen. Well, she said to herself, if I, if I may but touch the garment, I will shall be made whole. I shall be made whole. Now, sure, she was she was walking by faith. She but she said, I got to get to Jesus and walking by faith through all the crowds and all the obstacles and everything she went through. With, she finally got to Jesus, and the, and the Spirit spoke to her. Said, if I could just touch the hem of His garment, church, that's all we got to do, have to come, come to Jesus and just touch the hem of His garment. Jesus, you hear this morning, if you just want to touch the hem of his garment, he'll make you whole. But you've got to come to Jesus. You say, I've got to get to Jesus. He's the only, he's my life. He's my, he's the, he's my salvation. He's my deliverer. He's my rock. Praise God if I just get to him. Church, when you're in trouble, just say, i got to get to Jesus. When you're in a battle, I've got to get to Jesus. If you're having trouble this morning, i got to get to Jesus. If you're having difficult things or not, I've got to get to Jesus and touch Jesus. And praise God, he shall deliver you. Amen. Amen. Well, she said within herself, if I may touch the, his garment, I shall be made whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Amen. 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 Now the other place says she touched the hem of his garment. Here the Bible says that, that, that she just said within herself, if I could just touch the hem. Church, we need to learn how to get to Jesus. If you got your mind made up, 
if you're in trouble, if you're a the laws of you having problems in your life and you seem like you can't get over. Church, we're going to have problems in our life. I went to Jesus, I don't know how many times, but trust me, tell you something, he's always been there. I just bow myself down to Jesus and I can touch him. I just reach it up to him and say, Jesus, I need you. I need to touch. I need to deliver. I need to be made whole. I need church. God, is that you move upon these things, and he will do it by faith. Because we just reach out by faith. You got to reach out by faith and say, I got to get to Jesus. Hallelujah. Daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole that, that, from that hour. We've got to make up our mind, church. The healings, the deliverance, whatever it is. And Paul was a good example this morning. Amen. Let's turn to Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Paul says in verse 13, Brethren, I count not myself who have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. We can't, we can't go and say, I, I was this or I was that or I was uh, whatever it is. Whatever is ever holding you back. Don't let nothing hold you back. What, you, what you've done, how many failures you've had. What, amen. We'll, we'll fail you just one day, but we can pick ourselves up and keep right on walking. But the Bible tells us, I press towards the mark of the high calling. Glory to God. Think about that, church. The prize of the high calling. And that's Jesus, this morning, church. He's our prize. He's our glory. He's our savior. He's our deliverer. He's your way out, church. Let us therefore as be, as be perfect, be thus minded. Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, Paul said, for I am now ready to be offered. Are we ready to be offered this morning? Have we got our mind made up? Lord, I will, whatever I have to pay, the price I have to pay, I know what you paid for. You gave your life and you sacrificed your life. You would be paid in everything that I could have life. How many was life this morning? Amen. We all want life this morning. That means we got eternal life. Well, I'm now ready to be, uh, I am ready to be offered at the time of my departure to the head. I have thought a good fight. I will tell God when I stand before him, I have thought a good fight. The church might tell you it is a fight. You gotta make up your mind. I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to, they make to be a good soldier. I'm willing to pay the price. Jesus paid the price for us, and we need to be willing to pay the price for us. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. His for there has laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord thy righteous judge shall give me in that day, and not to me only, but to unto all them that also love his appearing. That's what we're looking for this morning, church. We're looking for Jesus to come back. So if you don't have your mind made up, amen, to fight the devil, if you don't have your mind made up to overcome the world, if you don't have your mind made up, I am going, amen, to see my family say somewhere, somewhere, I am going to lead them, I am going to teach them, I am going to show them that heaven will be more than anything to me. Amen. I'm going to show the world I love Jesus more than I do the world. The Bible said, you can't love the world and love me. Amen. you got to love Jesus with your whole heart. you got to have your mind made up, church. I said, you got to make, have your mind made up. I want heaven to be my home. I want my children to have their home in heaven. Amen. But the Bible says, he'll save us and this household if we'll just be true to Jesus. You got your mind made up this morning that you're going to be blessed. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have battles. You're going to have all kinds of things come before you. But you got your mind made up. Zacchaeus had his mind made up. He was going to see Jesus. The one with the issue of blood had, had her mind made up. You've got to have your mind made up. Paul had his mind made up. I'm going to fight this fight. I'm going to fight a good fight because I know that I've got treasure laid up in heaven. Amen. Are you willing to fight a good fight this morning? Yeah. Have you got your mind made up? Yeah. Are you determined this morning? Thank God because that's what it's going to take. One person told me one time, said, you know what? You've got to have just a little faith. You've got to have just a little faith. And a whole bucket. Amen. Determination. Amen. You gotta be determined. Would you stand this morning? When things are going good, and things are going 